Hello everybody. Today I'm going to explain you what is Azure Availability Zone. So when you are creating a virtual machine, you must have seen this availability options. So if you choose no infrastructure redundancy required, that would mean you will have single VM. And then the next option is availability zone. This is what we are going to discuss in today's video. The next two options I'm going to cover in my next video. So let's select availability zone. And now it's asking me to choose which zone. Is it zone 1, zone 2 or zone 3? So let me explain you the geography, the global infrastructure of Azure. So we have multiple data centers of Azure spread across the world. So if you see this map, I can see plenty of those in US. Then there are a lot of those in UK and Europe. Then I see some data centers in this area. This is Asia. So we have data centers across. So this is how the level of data center is. We have geography, your complete globe. And we have multiple regions as of today. As per Microsoft, there are 54 regions and every region might not support availability zone. For availability zone support, you need to have at least three zones under the region. So as of today, there are 24 regions which supports availability zone. And every zone will have multiple data centers. And under data center, we are going to have multiple racks uh, with fault domains and update domain. So this is the level, geography, then regions, then zones, then data centers, then the server racks. So in my previous step, let's say I created one VM in zone one, another VM in zone two. So that would mean one of my VM is here, the other VM is here. So these two will be connected with a very good network, the latency would be very low, would be less than two micro, would be less than two milliseconds. So the data which I write here would be available in the other one within two milliseconds. So let's say in case there is a natural calamity or there is a disaster, one of the zone goes down. Let's say if zone two goes down, my application will continue to work fine from the other zone. So the benefits of zone availability uh, the VMs will be physically in physically different data centers and they are connected by high performance and low latency network. And in one of my earlier video, I explained you Azure storage redundancy. The link to that video I'll provide on the top left of this video. You can click on that and you can go through that video. So a quick recap in case of LRS the data is replicated three times in the same data center. In case of ZRS, your data is written three times in three different uh, zones. In case of geo redundancy, your data is written across two regions. So LRS works at data center level. CRS works at zone level. And Geo redundancy works at the region level. Okay, so as I mentioned, we have set up two VMs. One was in zone one, one was in zone two. So in case there is a disaster in zone one, so how would I know? So to set up, to configure those two VMs, what I do is I set up a load balancer between them. So if there is a web URL, uh, web URL pointing to the public IP address of the web server. Instead of pointing the web URL to the web server, I'll point it to the external IP address of this load balancer. So if this VM is working, all my traffic will be diverted here. If both my VMs are working, my traffic will be diverted based on the load. So, or in case my application is a database and my 
website is talking to the database on internal private IP. So in that case, I can set up an internal load balancer with a private IP. My web application will talk to the load balancer and the load balancer would again divert the traffic to one of the active VMs or in case both are active to randomly one of those depending upon the load. So this is the general architecture. My VM might be across two virtual machines and different zones or different regions or it could be a virtual machine a single virtual machine without any redundancy again it would be the same infrastructure so this was my today's video i hope i explained this topic well so if you found this video useful please like and subscribe to my channel and please leave the comments and feedback in the description section below thank you so much for watching